Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be doing the next Pelts We All Forgot About video in the series. This is like an ongoing series I just have, and it's about palettes that used to be in the spotlight and aren't anymore. This is like an OG palette. I love this palette. This is one of my favorite neutral palettes, and it's from one of my favorite brands. It's from Tarte Cosmetics, and it's the Tartlet in Bloom. I love this palette so much. So if you've followed me for a while, you know that I take palettes you know, that are kind of forgotten about and we do a look with it, we talk about it, we revisit it. And I think it's a great way to kind of shop your stash, kind of like enjoy your collection because you don't always need to buy new makeup and we are all guilty of it, but it is still good to know that like, you know, let's love our old favorites, you know? If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday. So if you want um, to come join, that'd be great. We're almost to 500 and I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go through shades. This palette retails for 39 bucks. It has 12 shades, literally the perfect neutral palette in my opinion. I love a good neutral palette and I don't know, I just, I love this palette. This is one of my favorites. So let's go through swatches. So the first row we have Charmer, Jet Setter, Rocker, and Smoke Show. Second row we have Flower Child, Smarty Pants, Firecracker, and Activist. Third row we have Funny Girl, Sweetheart, Rebel, and Leader. Okay, so I just kind of want to go right into this video. Like I just want to go right into the look. Obviously it's going to be a pretty neutral look because look at this palette. We don't really have a whole lot of pops of color in here, but if you want to see a super colorful look, go check out yesterday's video. I reviewed the new e.l.f. palette and it was a total rainbow look. So this is kind of like a 180 from that, but it's still really fun and if you want to go have a more, see more colorful look, then I recommend going to check out yesterday's video. So I'm zoomed up. I put on a lot of blush. I didn't realize how much blush I put on until I like turned on the camera because it doesn't look that bad in real life, but I guess on camera it does. Seriously, one of my all-time favorite palettes. I cannot get enough of this. This, I'm first going to go in the shade Sweetheart, which is like a light pinky shade, if you can kind of tell. I'm at my parents' house right now. It is so hot. Our apartment is like unlivable. Long story short, we're moving soon, thank God. We've been like saving up money and stuff for it, so yeah. Um, but we're going to go into Sweetheart, which is this beautiful light pink shade. And I love this. So you're going to be able to see how easy this blends. This is part of the, I think this is the Amazonian, yeah, this is an Amazonian clay palette. So um, Tarte is all about like save the rainforest, save the ocean. And I love that about them. So this is their Amazonian clay eyeshadow formula. But look how easy that blended out. I love that. Okay, let's do the other eye. I'm not, I primed my eyes with concealer when I was doing my full face. So that's why we're not using a primer. But if you want to use an extra one, go right ahead. But I like to try and just stick to mainly like my concealer. And I will always set the concealer with a little bit of powder. Well, look how easily that blends. Sorry, I'm try I'm really working hard. I'm like not getting my mirror like up here where you can't see my well, my look or what I'm doing. And I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more. This is also like a good wedding day palette too. Oh, there we go. Such a seamless blend. I love that. And I use my BH Cosmetics brush from the Weekend Festival collection. With the pink handles, these are amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a Luxie Tapered Blending Brush, and hmm, I'm gonna mix Smarty Pants and Jet Setter, which are these two shades. They're pretty, like, neutrally brown tones. I'm just going to also apply that in the crease, kind of blending that in with the pink. I have done this, this step in the past, and I really like how it's turned out. To really deepen up this look, I think I'm gonna go in with, now these deeper shades on the end kind of look the same. I'm sorry my lighting is changing. This is a reflective palette, so it kind of changes the lighting. But I think I'm gonna go into Smoke Show. It's kind of like a cooler toned grayish brown. These do um, produce a little bit of fallout, but as you guys know, most shades do. So I'm just kind of very gently blending it on. 
And this isn't the avenue I originally thought I was gonna go down, but I guess we're just gonna do it and see what happens because this is a little more smoky than I originally thought it would be. So as you can tell, I'm taking this brush. This is a Morphe M433. And I'm just kind of like, like dabbing the color on. I'm gonna go with the shade Rebel, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. This is from the Jaclyn Hill collection. If you can hear my dogs out there, I'm really sorry. They're like playing and we have wood floors. Yeah, this is a lot more smoky than I originally intended for this to be. So, wow. Wow, like, I, I like it, but it just, it wasn't what I had originally planned. So we're gonna go with Charmer, which is the ivory white shade. And of course, we're gonna be highlighting the brow, highlighting the brow. I feel like a look, in my opinion, a look is not complete if you don't do it. Then we're gonna take Flower Child, which is a little bit deeper. It's kind of like a beigey tone. And I'm just gonna pop that in the inner part of the, the eye. This really brightens up any kind of look. But now we're gonna go into the lid. I always do the lid last, and I don't really know why, but I just kind of always have. So I've my one of my favorite shades in here is Flower Girl, and it's this beautiful light champagne shade. And I'm just gonna kind of pat that on. It is just a touch bit chunky, so make sure you know that you're kind of diffusing it out whether that's with a brush your finger just make sure you do that i'm not putting it all the way in because i do want to kind of emphasize that outer corner that we have going on i like applying shades like this with my finger and just kind of patting it's almost like i'm doing like three quarters of the way in or two thirds of the way in i'm next going to take my setting spray this is from morphe and it's the just continuous setting mist i'm gonna mist it and i'm gonna take flower gum and put it on the lower part of my inner lower lash line does that even make sense? I don't know. So I'm just gonna take this and apply it right down here. Just kind of to brighten everything up. I love this, this is so gorgeous. Okay, what's really gonna top it off is liner and mascara. I think that's gonna work and then we're gonna do a beautiful neutral lip. So for liner, we're gonna go with the Morphe Felt Tip Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. I don't know if I like it more than my Makeup Revolution one though. Like, I thought about it. Like, do I? I don't know. And I do have some fallout that I see here close up in the mirror. I will be taking care of that. <laughs> See how much eyeliner just like changes a look already? Like, it's amazing. But I think lashes are gonna do some justice here and the BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash is what we're gonna go into next. Um, I have a sample here. I've mentioned this in like every tutorial recently but I tried this out in my BH Cosmetics palettes review and it is so good. It is literally a dupe for Too Faced better than sex mascara so if you have not um, you know seen that video I'll link it down below for you but oh my god I love this. Look at the difference that made. Oh my gosh, this eye looks so complete. This is a bridal look right here. There we go, oh my gosh, isn't this look gorgeous? Even though it's neutral, it is still super flattering, super fun. Like this is a beautiful bridal look. So for my lips, I already put on some of the Too Faced, um, Tarte, sorry, Sugar Rushed Best Bud Peony Lip Butter Balm to just kind of like moisturize my lips. They're a little dry today unfortunately and let's go in with some lipstick and lip gloss i really want to keep this look really bridal-esque i might come back to this when it comes time for my wedding i don't know i really like this but i'm gonna put on a little bit of the um why do i always want to say Too faced no it's this is charlotte tilbury and it's the matte revolution lipstick in the shade very victoria it is one of my favorite lipsticks you guys already know this. Um, I have, I did like a whole video on my favorite lip formulas and I'm gonna link that down below for you. But it's so good. It is more pricey, but it's so worth it. Look at that, that is so freaking gorgeous. I think for the final touch on this look, I wanted to go into like just a nude gloss. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Nude, N-O-O-D. 
I think mixing colors like this is so fun. It's like the perfect neutral in my opinion. I love that. Now I just have to make sure there's no like lipstick in my teeth and stuff, but wow. Look at that. I love this look. If you guys recreate this look, you're gonna have to tag me on Instagram because I'm so excited. And um, just know that if you don't have this palette, you can recreate it with any eyeshadow. You don't have to go out and get this if you don't want to, but I will leave a link for it down below. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start leaving links for stuff in the description box, so hopefully that helps. But I will definitely leave a link for this. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what kind, what palettes you want to see next that maybe, you know, that are in my collection that I maybe forgot about. I mean, we got a whole bunch of videos coming, so um, keep an eye out for it and subscribe. It always means so much to me when you subscribe. And again, we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers and we're so close, we're less than 100 away. So um, give this video a thumbs up, ring the bell for my post notifications, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.